half the humans went after the bug army and oh you still have the exploding poo here boom creeper oh it's actually not that big oh this gotta be pretty straightforward does it blow up YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And today we are back with another epic fight. So today we've got three armies. We've got the poo flinging monkeys versus the ancient humans. And to spice it up, we have the dinosaur army. So if you think the ancient humans are gonna win, hit that thumbs up button. If you think the apes are gonna win, hit that thumbs up button. And if you think the dinos are gonna win, hit that thumbs up button. Also, you can hit the thumbs up button for some more ancient revolt battle simulator. All right, armies, are you ready to go? Also, stay tuned because we are going to be creating some more big epic beast later in the video, but we've got a score to settle. Let's go. Oh, yeah, here comes the... Wait, wait, they're all ignoring... Wait, what the heck just happened? It's some poo flinging monkeys. That's explosive poo, but I think it's going to give the advantage potentially to the dinosaurs. Man, the humans and the apes just went right after each other. Uh-oh, there's still three big T-Rexes. I think the humans are completely screwed here. But look at this, there's people flying through the air. Uh, okay, human army's completely dead, except for this one guy. Oh, never mind, he's dead too. Uh, can we get an F in the chat for the one guy? All right, so it's down to apes versus dinos, but look at this, those Goros are just so strong. That is absolutely ridiculous. They're beating the snot out of these T-Rexes. They're grabbing them and just like pummeling their faces in. And wow, you know what? I kept thinking in the back of my head that there's no way the dinosaur army is defeated, but wow, that was impressive. All right, we need to even the odds. Maybe throw in a fourth army. All right, so the humans, they didn't even stand a chance there. We need to give them more numbers. Let's go ahead and do another line of the Spartan warriors in the back. Uh, that should be good. Should we give them a giant Spartan? Maybe that should be a thing. Hold on, let's scale up a Spartan here. Uh, let's change its, uh, maybe its hit power. We'll give it like three times uh, strength. Now this will be their epic, like, god Spartan in the back. We'll actually decorate this one here in a second. All right, and for the dinosaur army, I don't think I want to give them something too big like Godzilla, but I have something called the Infected Rex. So this is from the workshop prefabs. What does this look like? Oh, that thing is intense looking. Hold on, let's give it... We'll give it three of those. And then uh, the ape army, they don't need anything. So we want to introduce one more army. So we have like this big grand battle going on. I think the army's going to be the insect army. All right. So we need a line of ants here. Let's get two lines. That's like the, uh, the little unit. And then we'll have a line of spiders. Oh, I hate spiders. Like I'm not completely freaked out by them, but I just don't like them. All right. So we have some uh, emperor scorpions. Let's go ahead and give the, uh, the beetle. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go times two here. So they have a couple giant beetles. Actually, let's give them, let's give them like six, or let's go with seven. That way it feels like they have a chance here. And then, you know what? Let's get a couple blade worms on the uh, side here. This is a lot of units. This might start to lag. Also, real quick, I forgot. We're going to make this Spartan a little bit stronger. It needs something here. So I've got a puncher. We can add this to it. Uh, would that be inappropriate? Uh, hold on. Let's add some extra arms. So it's going to be the... Oh, that's too heavy for him. Spartan, I need you to stand up here. Let's add one on this side. Just give you some extra punching power. He seems rather confused. Why are those so heavy? Huh. We'll see what he does. I think the humans are screwed. All right, we're ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it is laggy. I got to slow it down a little bit. All right, so the armies are spreading out now. So half the humans went after the bug army and oh, you still have the exploding poo here. Oh, that is insane. And then look at the infected Rexes back here. These things are kind of terrifying. Oh, one of the spikes is going out of his, uh, out of his eye there. That's kind of creepy. All right, so question is, who's gonna win battle two here? Uh, cast your votes. Let's see, let's go full speed here. It's laggy, but it's not completely terrible. Also, a lot of people want to see me play Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So if you guys want to see that, uh, maybe we could do that game in the future. 
So the big beetles seem to be ripping apart humans here. That is incredible. But, oh, here comes the uh, T-Rexes. Uh, they're coming in for the fight. I can't tell what's happening here. Uh, wait. The bug army. Are they the new favorites? All right, come on, Mr. T-Rex. You got to go. Oh, it's uh, it's getting uh, eaten. All right, here we go. We got... Oh, the monkeys are still alive. So we got the two Goros. Uh, they're fighting the bugs. And... Oh, this bug is stuck on its back. Oh, I guess that's the disadvantage of being a bug. Also, I think the dinosaurs are done. So humans, they absolutely are terrible. <laughs> uh, I think the only way to make them strong is to give them actual guns. Uh, the melee humans just don't do anything. Oh, no. It's definitely the monkeys. Uh, they're killing the last bugs. But I have to say, the bug army seem like the second most powerful army. And, oh, yeah. I forgot about our Spartan back here. Yeah, the adding the extra arms wasn't a very good idea. And, uh, oh, here comes the Goro. This is going to be bad. Oh, he's trying to stab him. Oh, he's just getting his face beat in. Yep, this is great. All right. Well, I think that settles it. Uh, the Goro army is probably the OP one. I call them the Goro army because that feels like their leader, like their giant. Uh, I guess we could call him the monkey army, too. All right, so for this episode, we're going to give our grand champion a rest. Uh, that was Siren Head. So I've got a couple other worthy opponents, but I feel like we should have kind of a tournament here. So we've got stuff from the Creeper. Uh, we've got a couple new Godzillas. And I kind of want to create a new one. Also, there's a King Kong with the axe. What does this one look like? Oh, and spawn this bad boy in. Oh, it's actually not that big. I think it's a Goro with the, uh, it's like been enlarged a little bit and they added some wood armor to it. It looks really cool though. That is a ton of armor. How do you get through that? This thing might be OP. So we've got it. I've got one called the Silver Knight, which I really, really like this one. Uh, it's kind of small, but you never know. Maybe it's got a lot of hit power. So we're going to maybe face these two off and then I've got a couple others. And then we are going to create our own grand champion and hope it's something that maybe next episode we can defeat Siren Head with. All right, here we go. Oh, look at the little knight. He's just kind of uh, cruising along. Why do I feel like he's going to get annihilated here by that axe? And oh, okay. This, oh, th this isn't even fair. Wait. The, oh, never mind. Who's drawing blood right now? Is it the knight? Or is he just getting, oh, Oh, he's just getting knocked around. He's getting punched in the face. Oh, that is actually kind of brutal. Somebody's drawing blood. I think the knight is. I think, uh oh, oh, he just got hit by the ax. Oh, he is getting pummeled. He's stuck to it. Oh man. Yeah, the knight was actually getting a little bit through King Kong's armor, but it's not enough. Like not enough at all. I wonder if we should pull Godzilla back out. Oh, wait, what? Wait. Wait, the knight just defeated King Kong. Huh? Is this just one of those units, even though it's like really small, it's actually really OP? Look at him. Man, the knight is cruising. Wow, that was actually impressive. All right, let's uh, face him off against something else. Okay, it might not be a grand champion here. Maybe we should face the silver knight just against the army. So last episode, we played with the new unit, the hellhound, and I made a giant one. And I think it kind of broke the Hellhound. It, normally it can spew fire, but I guess it was so big it couldn't trigger its fire anymore. So I think if we have a Hellhound army, it's going to be a lot of fire. Let's see if the Silver Knight can actually handle that. All right, so 10 Hellhounds versus the Silver Knight. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the fire. Oh! <laughs> Oh, this might be the fight we were looking for. Oh, they damaged him. His leg was all sideways. Now he's smoking. Come on, he might want to get some hits in. Oh, they blow him back every time. Okay, it might be the uh, the numbers game here. Oh, oh, well, okay, hellhounds. So I think uh, as far as a champion versus champion, the silver knight's really strong. Now I think the uh, like I said, the numbers game there. They got he got overwhelmed pretty much with the. Uh, with the hellhounds, but we could try another one. You know what? Let's see what the creeper looks like. Boom, creeper. Oh, it's actually not that big. Oh, this ought to be pretty straightforward. Does it blow up? Oh. Uh, oh. Wow. Okay, so the creeper is actually quite hilarious. It blows up the silver knight. Hold on. 
Let's do an army of creepers. Let's go on. Let's do maybe 10. I think that'll be fine. And then let's do maybe 10 of the silver knights. Actually, let's go with, uh, I think 20 is going to be what we need. I mean, as soon as the creepers make contact, they explode. So let's go with 20 of these. All right, here we go. And start. Oh, this is going to be funny. Wait. Oh, no, I've got them set to the wrong team. They're all attacking each other. Oh! <laughs> Oops, that is my bad. Uh, sometimes I do that in this game. That was kind of funny, though. Uh, they all ganged up on the one silver knight, but the creepers going off in the background pretty much exploded all the armies, which was amazing. All right, here we go again. We got the fight ready to go, and here come the explosions. Oh, man. Okay, so creeper army, while it being a very, very devastating, it's not good. Like, it's going to blow up, and then you're going to be out of an army. So you better hope it blows up the other champion. Speaking of, can it blow up the other champion? I wonder what's attached to the creeper. Is it, a, like, the landmine or something? Like, I, that's the only thing I can imagine that blows up like that. You know what? We're going to have a face-off here. We're going to do Godzilla, which it's one of our champions uh, that lost in the first episode. Uh, we're going to use a different version of it, though. And we're going to allow it to go up against uh, the Creeper. Let's use the Burning Godzilla. This thing looks really cool. So, question. Who wins here? All right, I'm pretty sure the Godzilla is going to lose because of the amount of Creepers, but I want to see this happen. Like, is it strong enough to actually take him out? The Godzilla looks amazing. That Burning Godzilla? Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, they're losing it. Oh, they blew each other up. Hold on. What happens when one actually makes contact here? <gasps> oh. Oh, wait, oh, oh, <laughs> so creepers are a thing. Creepers might have to be outlawed. Like, could the creeper actually defeat the siren head? You know what? We'll figure out next episode. I'm still want to play around with these a little bit. Uh, yeah, creepers. I don't know if I can use these like these feel illegal. Uh, let's try maybe one creeper. Can it defeat Godzilla? I'm kind of thinking Godzilla can withstand one explosion, but not multiple explosions. Okay, here we go. Godzilla versus the Creeper. Oh, yeah. What's about to happen here? And... Uh-oh. Oh! Okay, so it can withstand one hit. Not bad. All right, well, Godzilla got a little bit of redemption there, being able to uh, withstand the explosion from the Creeper. So we're going to go ahead and delete the Creeper. Uh, it's a very cool unit. Uh, I don't know what's making it explode. There's got to be a mine in here, isn't there not? Uh, it's a tiger, by the way. Ha! Huh. I have no clue what's making that explode. I have to look into that a bit more. But what I do want to do, this is a suggestion from the last episode. So we all know how powerful the Goro is. Well, we're going to make it more powerful. So this is definitely one of the units that does well with the attachments on it because it seems to have a good balance. So we're going to make, uh, where do we want to go with it? Let's go maybe three times the size. So if I start attaching stuff, will it actually be able to stay up? A lot of people said I need to attach spikes to it and make it like the ultimate warrior here. So let's get these hooked bone spikes. And I just deleted my Goro because reasons. All right, so we're going to put some bone spikes on this thing. Can I skill these up? Oh, I can. That's awesome. All right, so where would we put them on here? Maybe on its head? Oh, oh, that looks evil. I like that. Uh, we need to put it on somewhere it's actually going to be used. I'm going to put smaller spikes on its hands and feet and maybe along its arms. Uh, these are just decorations here. I mean, I guess something could get stuck to one of these spikes, but I really just want these for show. So let's go ahead and do a couple off its arm, uh, maybe up on the shoulder here. So let's do that. And we'll turn over one here. And then I'm going to line its bottom up here uh, with spikes. So it's a question of, can it withstand Godzilla? Like, I feel like it's going to have a chance. And we're going to keep the, uh, the hit power at one. Uh, so it's going to have the default strength. I just want the extra weapons and the, uh, how big it is. All right, so I have my spikes on him. So he's got spiky claws now. He's got a forearm covered in spikes. Uh, let's give him some shoulder pads here. Uh, he's got to have some form of protection. Haunts enlarge these a little bit. So we'll give him like this. Godzilla's attacks. He's got really, really spiky hands. But other than that, 
Uh, there's not much to them, so I'm trying to figure out where those spikes would be landing. If they land against the arms, I feel like we're fairly protected. Uh, let's give them a big chest plate here. Boom. Okay, so it's got a chest plate on it. All right, here we are for the final fight. We have the Goro King, which he's got all the spikes in the armor, versus the Burning Godzilla. Let's do this. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, I think mine's got a chance. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so his weight seems to be a little off. He doesn't really want to move forward. Uh, oh, he's starting to go forward now. He's got some momentum. All right, let's see what his attacks are like. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, who's stabbing who? Oh, he's stabbing Godzilla. Oh, but Godzilla's gnawing at his uh, legs. Oh, we should have armored those shins up. Uh, but it's fine. He's got spikes. He's stabbing Godzilla at the moment. Uh, but it's a question of who's actually winning. Like, he's way heavier than Godzilla. He's just overpowering him. Oh, but he got knocked down. Uh, get back up, Goro King. Uh, here he comes. He's coming back. Oh, this is a fight for the ages. Oh, he just stabbed Godzilla in the face. Those spikes work pretty well. I don't think his uh, forearm spikes are really having any sort of effect right now. Godzilla hasn't planted itself in him. But there he goes. He stabbed him again. Oh, Godzilla's biting his spikes. Oh, look at that swing. Oh, yeah, that's his weak point right now, his legs. I, he needs a little bit of armor on his shins and maybe even a couple plates on his side and back because that's where Godzilla is going. But he's pounding Godzilla into the ground. Oh, that was a big punch there. Oh, this is an epic fight. Hey, don't stab him in the crotch. I feel like he's going for his crotch. Don't do that. That's illegal. Uh, no low blows, even though his low blow is like up to Godzilla's face. And uh-oh. Well, the Grow King's been eliminated. I really think it was mostly due to his legs being exposed. All right, we're going to fix this real quick. Let's stick some leg armor on, kind of where the uh, the Godzilla was getting through. And you know what? We're going to give him one more thing. We're going to stick some of these piercers on his forearms. So I feel like these things actually, I don't know if they shoot out or what they do, but I feel like we need some there. And then maybe if we can give them on his, like, his hands, uh, if I can fit them on here. I don't know. The spikes are kind of in the way. Uh, we could put them up like this so if he slaps Godzilla. Uh, that might actually be pretty good. All right, here we go. Final fight. I can hear those little uh, piercers working. Oh, they just shoot up and down. Uh, there's no, like, rhyme or reason for them. All right, here we go. Here comes Godzilla. Yeah, we got to balance him a little bit more, but he's got leg armor now. And let's see if those... Oh, are they helping? Oh, oh, big stabs there. All right, so he's going for his legs again, but he does have some leg armor. And... Oh, no, he's going for his gut. Hold on. Goro, you got to get up. No, don't show him your butt. That's not what you're supposed to be doing here. Yeah, I've got a little bit to learn here when it comes to some of the customs. Like, once you make them really big, they become really flimsy. And I feel like maybe we should make more of the size of Burning Godzilla here. Like, it looks cool that the Goro King's this big, but I don't know how useful it is. Also, the Goro King is out of here. He just noped out of here. Really? I created a coward. You know what? Burning Godzilla wins. I'm going to study these a little bit more. And yeah, there's a lot of small armor pieces on here. Uh, you know what? We'll create another one next time. If you guys have any ideas, comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.